G'day! So guys, they finally started rolling out the 1.14 snapshots this week for Java Edition. So I'm super excited. They have added and adjusted and just so much things have changed in Minecraft 1.14. I figure that we will go, we'll do a quick overview video. Now, don't get me wrong, we won't go in extreme detail, but we'll do an overview of 1.14 of what they've added so far this week and this week's snapshots. So, oh, oh, I'm super excited. But anyway, the first thing that we're going to be covering in 1.14 snapshot this week is, come on down, the crossbow. Check this out. Now, before I get into it, it looks like they've uh, adjusted the sand texture. Holy smokes, yeah, it looks like they've, uh, it feels adjusted to me, but there we go. Looks like they've definitely adjusted the sand texture there. Now, look at this thing. This here is the crossbow. It's, you know, it's like the bow. We can uh, literally load it up. It's, you know, it's all loaded now, ready to shoot. And you just right click to shoot, boom. Pretty basic stuff. That That is freaking awesome. Now, it comes with three different enchants to put on it. You have quick charge. Obviously, that affects the reload time there. And then you've got piercing. Apparently, that goes straight through things like mobs. Holy smokes. And then you've got multi-shot, which actually splits your arrow into three. Now, I've put them on, obviously, three different things here. Uh, just to show you sort of a, a quick, uh, you know, quick thing here. So, let's do quick charge first. See how fast he actually loads. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's actually quite quick. All right, next one along. We probably skip piercing. I don't have any mobs to shoot, but um, we'll get multi-shot out next. All right, ready? Ready? Oh, we've got to reload it. And fire. Boom. Oh, you can take on multiple enemies at the same time. That's bloody brilliant. Let's fight straight up. Yep, boom. Uh-oh, all three arrows are coming back down at the same time. Woo, Boom. <laughs> that is flaming awesome. So there you go, guys. I'm not sure what, what can be combined together. Like, uh, does the crossbow have, in, in, you know, infinity? I don't, I, don't, I don't know. We're not going extreme de detail. We're not doing extreme testing today. But I'm not sure what enchant can be stacked with other ones. So I'm not sure if, like, you know, say, infinity can be put on a crossbow. Not sure about any of that stuff there. But there we go. That there is the crossbow. And that's coming to 1.14 there. What's in the latest snapshot. So let's go ahead and move on. So they've added a bunch of new walls. Which is blooming fantastic. Because we've only had a couple of walls to choose from in the past. Holy smokes, guys. We'll do a quick search here of all the walls. Check it out. We've got endstone brick wall and sandstone wall and... And uh, andesite wall, pretty much all the, the, yeah, the blocks, holy smokes, so many different types of wall, this is going to open up buildings so much more, uh, you can blend your builds together, it's, oh, it's going to be fantastic, wow, look at this, this endstone wall looks just, it's cool, that looks flaming awesome, and uh, we could pick another random one, like a, a granite wall here, look at, look at that, flaming good stuff, oh, look at this one, uh, red, uh, the red sandstone wall, that looks fantastic too. So obviously, along with brand new walls, they've also added a lot of new stair types too. Look, so we've got like granite and polished and jeez, uh, just look, look, again, with the stairs. Like, have a look at this. Look at all those stair types now, flaming brilliant. It's going to help blend in a lot better. Same with slabs. They've done exactly the same with slabs, guys. So, so look up slabs. Same thing. They've gone absolutely nuts with uh, the amount of slabs that you can put down now. Like, there's just slabs for everything. Flame and galah. That is so, so cool. Ah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, good stuff, good stuff. So much new things. It's th This here is going to open up building uh, walls and stairs and slabs. It's, you know, going to really help with building in Minecraft, especially. Because, you know, before we haven't really had every single stair type and every single wall type. We couldn't really blend things together. But now we can add different colors and, whoo. Uh, building's going to get uh, way more extreme in 1.14. So, along with walls and slabs and stairs, they've gone ahead and added different sign types as well. Check this out. Look at all this. Flame and galah. Doesn't this look cool? So, you've got the regular oak sign here. Look, see? And then you've gone ahead and you've got the spruce and the birch. 
and the uh, acacia and uh, the jungle and then the dark oak which looks flaming awesome now guys i must admit the the text is really whoa, very very bright i'm the, the only criticize criticism i have here is it doesn't really blend in anymore the old text used to blend in quite well with the signs but I, I, then again from far away if we come over here you're gonna see uh, the writing which is fan bloom and test i don't know how well you guys are gonna see it but you could definitely see it from a distance now so that is good and another noticeable thing too it looks like for the bottom of the sign they've gone ahead and used the uh, used the the log uh texture so for, like definitely for the for the birch here uh, you can you can see the white down the bottom with the with the plank up top. That's freaking cool. That's cool. Yeah, I'm looking at them all now. That is definitely cool. Check this out, guys. This is the Bamboo Forest. This is a brand new biome that's uh, been plonked in the middle of a jungle biome. Now it feels a little laggy. I must admit, it's definitely not crystal smooth a uh, bit, bit of jerkiness while flying around here which is definitely not a good thing i suppose jungles are already technically laggy by themselves now they've slapped a brand new biome in the middle of it it could get a little bit crazy but here we are the bamboo jungle bamboo forest whatever you want to call it it looks like a bunch of uh podzel yeah podzel and uh, just normal grass and then the bamboo itself so if you go ahead and break it obviously the rest come down with it and it sounds cool too uh i like that sound it's so satisfying to break it's better than glass oh that's cool but there we go you can obviously use these for recipes and other sorts of things uh which they probably going to add in future snapshots i think i think you could turn them into sticks and stuff and use them as fuel um now when it comes to obviously breaking planting these guys pl uh, planting and breaking you can break it and plant it there you go that's what it looks like probably can use bone meal we'll have a quick look at that uh just to make sure it does work there we go yes okay look see there we go, and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh, that's pretty tall. Pretty tall. Not sure how tall they actually grow. Probably maybe the same as kelp. I, I don't know. I don't flame and know. It's just interesting. So let's go ahead and switch our game modes to survival here. And I'll show you guys, like, literally, it's not an instant break. But with the sword, it is literally instant break. So it's like, I suppose, in a, in a real jungle, you're going to use a... Uh, a, a definitely a machete or some some sort of like that to you know break your way through which is pretty cool so bring a sword to the bamboo jungle um okay so let's move on now now guys i've been hunt now obviously there's something that spawns in these bamboo uh forests here which is the panda the problem is i'm i, ca I cannot find any I've literally searched around this entire bio multiple times, lagging, jerking around, and it's it's so horrible. But I cannot find a single panda. Did, did, are they are they active yet? Did they make them spawn yet? I don't know. It's really remember it's early days. It's only the first couple of snapshots. Um, they will be adding tons and adjusting tons and fixing lag and and all that good stuff. But so far, it does not look like they naturally spawning well not for me anyway i haven't had any luck getting these bloody things to spawn so i guess that's okay we could spawn them in ourselves um we'll come over to the edge of the forest here and land in a field right here next to the next to the bamboo forest and get get ourselves a couple of our pandas going here there we go panda spawn egg go ahead right click the ground there you go check this out hello uh, these guys are obviously they like their bamboo uh, it looks like yep you can right click on them yummy yeah <laughs> he looks so adorable look so adorable ha have some of this have some of this they look so adorable oh yummy yummy <laughs> they are so adorable um i'm hearing rumors that they like cake um, hang on i'm gonna ch double check this and see if i haven't been led up the garden path here you, you want a cake here have a cake no? Oh, yes! He likes cake! Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> that is so adorable! I can't manage to... I don't think they have a breed function. You right-click on them, they just sort of sit up for you. Um, but other than that, that, that's so adorable. 
I can't stop right clicking. Nom 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 nom. Oh, this show adorable and cute. But um, yeah, that that there is the pandas. They're meant to naturally spawn in the bamboo forests, and they keep staring at me. Stop staring at me, guys. Seriously, you can have as much as you want. Look, look. I'm pretty sure this is pretty easy to automatically farm. Nom nom. No, no. Flame and awesome. Check this out. So go ahead and throw a sheep into a pen, like so. Go to a dispenser, throw some shears in there, give it some power. Oh, check that out. That so now you can pretty much automatically farm your sheep, which is flaming brilliant. And he just got away. I should have put a slap on top of that. Bye, sheep. But yeah, so that is fantastic. So. I'm picturing crazy wall farms now. Holy smokes. No, you're not getting out. I'm trying to get the wall. I'm trying to get the wall here. But, oh, I know a few players that would absolutely love this change. But that is flaming brilliant. As you can see, the shears is taking damage. So you will have to literally re, uh, you know, put new ones in after a while. But flaming brilliant. Um, I'm not sure. If, hang on. We'll, we'll try to get a couple at the same time. Oh, these guys are not further enough here. Get it. Ah, oh, bugger. There we go. So it looks like it gets one and a half blocks in front of the dispenser itself there. Good to know. Good to know. I'm picturing a lot of automatic uh, sheep farms coming up now. Oh, strew. So I've found myself a village. Now, why have I found myself a village? Well, they're adding a siege mode uh, to these poor villages here. They will get... Um, uh, they'll get invaded by a couple of nasty new mobs. So you've got ourselves a pillager. We'll spawn this guy here. There you go. So he spawns with a crossbow. And he's pretty basic. Now, they haven't really done too much. It's really early on in the snapshot. So they've like, there's no interesting anything when it comes to this. I don't even think siege mode is even in yet at night time. So unfortunately, that's how early these snapshots actually are. But as you can see, he's got a, he's wielding a crossbow. I'm not sure if they can wield enchanted. And obviously, he will definitely attack me if I was in survival. Now, check out the Illager Beast. Boom. This thing looks like a flaming rhino. Holy smokes, check him out. So these guys are meant to evade during the night time to these poor villagers here. Um, yeah, that is definitely not cool. I'll go ahead and spawn a villager here, boom. And as you can see, there you go. He is really, they're really getting messed up. I do feel super sorry for these villagers because they can't really defend themselves now they've got two extra they've already got zombies coming in at night time now they've got freaking these bloody pillagers and these these illager beasts and holy smokes definitely not cool now i'm still noticing a lot of these new textures as we fly around i am definitely not using a texture pack so don't uh don't point me out for that no we're not using a texture pack they are reworking a lot of minecraft textures what a beautiful landscape. Yeah, they're redoing a lot of Minecraft textures. All the default textures are being changed over to something completely new, which is flaming awesome. I'm leaving the... Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. But let's spawn another Illager Beast. And look at its neck. Look at its neck. It looks funny as how it extends out. Oh, but no, he's, he's literally going to wreck everybody. And if you put some pillages down as well... Fire! Yeah. It doesn't matter how many of these poor villagers we spawn in, these these pillagers and beasts will definitely do the job of finishing them off. <laughs> Holy smokes. Now, um, I have noticed that these, uh, these beasts don't go for uh, anything else except the villagers. Oh, they will go for a player like me. I'm pretty sure that would get pretty messed up if we uh, st you know, stood around here. But they don't go for friendly mobs like chickens or pigs or anything. They just, they're, they're really, they're after one thing, these poor villagers. Hello, villager. Is he going to jump in the water? <laughs> Flame and galah. Alrighty, guys. Now, the final thing that we're going to be checking out today is called the loom. Now, you're probably like, what the flaming galah are we going to do with the loom? Well, the loom now 
is really really sexy uh, i must admit as i'm doing my own texture pack in the past it's definitely a nice texture here uh the loom actually is to dye banners so if we to throw a banner in here and put a bit of dye in here look at that you've got all the options now and you've got sound effects and everything flame and galah brilliant stuff this this so you could definitely get in real deep with this loom now uh, really really happy uh, with that texture because that is really really sexy isn't it flame and galah look look i'm just this this seed is pretty good hang on you're probably asking data what is this seed before i go anywhere the seed that i've been using in today's snapshot is right there all right guys i think it's time to wrap things up guys if you love this overview of the snapshot today remember it is very early on there they're, they're going to be adding even more things and recipes and and siege mode and all crazy stuff so we might cover maybe a snapshot a week and see what they have added each snapshot don't know we'll see how the, you guys react to this video itself um, I'm new to doing these snapshot videos and I've probably missed a couple of things, but I covered the main things. Um, I definitely covered the main things. But guys, if you enjoyed the video, please smash those buttons, leave a like, comment below, share on your favorite social media. And if you haven't already, subscribe and I'll catch you all later.